The Guam Environmental Protection Agency this afternoon kicked off the Browns Field in Progress project, which identifies these dump sites, then cleans them up. The first project to be identified was right near the EPA main office in Tizen, a site where hundreds of tires have been left. EPA Administrator Laura Lee Chrysostomo says the tires were taken to the transition site following one of the big typhoons several years ago. Back in 2002, uh, Super Typhoon Feng Songhua, uh, Guam EPA was out there working with the mayors to do some transitional trash sites um, for us to, for the residents to come and put their, their debris, uh, some of their white goods and It was not supposed to get too extended out, but it, eventually it became tires and abandoned vehicles. Following the storm, money from the Federal Emergency Management Agency helped to clean up some of that site. However, there remains quite a bit of debris at the site. Now with the financial assistance of the U.S. EPA, they will be able to get the project completed and allow for the sites to be made available for unrestricted use. Region 9 Administrator Lori Yoshi. The Brownfields program really was intended to recognize the, the, the waste, really of leaving contaminated areas um, unaddressed. And that's particularly um, acute when you're talking about an island environment that has finite area, finite resources, and, and critical needs for productive reuse.